Getting some national attention after saying at a campaign stop that he didn't think it was disrespectful for athletes to kneel during the playing of the national anthem. As usual, political figures and celebrities and well, pretty much everyone been sharing their thoughts about all that. And KMAX Tori Lauren has spoke with some of them today about this. Yeah, Brian, there are mixed feelings today about whether or work is right when it comes to it being okay to kneel for the anthem. Everyone, I, a lot of people I spoke to agreed it was for the right cause, but then we did find some disagreement as to whether or not it was the right place. The focus of this country that is on them on Sunday when they're playing football to, to bring our attention and awake our conscience on something that is so important. Beto O'Rourke says it's the most American thing you can do. A peaceful protest anywhere, any place. And fellow Democratic candidate for Congress Miguel Lavario says it's something we've seen throughout history. What the NFL players are doing, what Dr. Martin Luther King did, what Cesar Chavez did in the, in the, in the farms, those are all examples of the American spirit and the American legacy of, of trying to protect and expand our rights as human beings. Local citizens say it's a cause worth fighting for. I do support uh, the fact that NFL players are standing up for what they believe in when it comes to police cruelty and, uh, and just the race discrimination. While some say O'Rourke is right, players deserve to be heard. If I'm a teacher, if I'm a janitor, Everybody has their own voice. It doesn't matter what I'm doing. I have my own voice. I can say, I can voice my opinion, you know. You know, politics are, you know, they're for politicians, but people can still speak on them. You know, that's what people vote for. Others say, like any other job, the field is a workplace, not a political platform. And that's what you're there for, is to perform on the field and, uh, and maybe, maybe speak out after with the reporters. And on your personal time. I have a son that works for the military as well, and he hasn't expressed any objection to them actually doing that. Might not be the best platform for it because it can't get the proper attention those very serious subjects deserve. Senator Cruz also addressed O'Rourke's comments in Odessa this weekend, saying, This is Texas. If someone wants to protest there, are all sorts of ways you can protest without being disrespectful to the flag, without refusing to stand for the national anthem. Now, we'd like to hear more thoughts about this, so we'll have this up on our Facebook page if you'd like to contribute to the conversation.